Mm, 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 mm. What's up? It's been an absolute minute since I've last posted a video, but I just wanted to start off by saying I hope you're well, hope you've been doing great things, and I'm super stoked to be sharing this one little tip with you that might change the way you shoot run and gun content. Let's get into it. So if you're like me, you really like going out to shoot with friends, and that usually entails shooting run and gun content, because it's usually not super fun to go plan this whole big project when you're just out shooting for a day. And if you don't know what run and gun content is, hold on, let's pull up the definition here. Run and gun content is a technique that is employed by those who are on a tight time schedule with limited preparation and limited resources. When you first start shooting video, run and gun is absolutely going to be your best friend. Run and gun is really super helpful because it eliminates the whole entire part of the process of pre-production, which can sometimes take up more than half the time of the project. Just thinking about it in your head, trying to get it down on a piece of paper, planning out the shots, planning out the story, and then finally getting a shot list or a storyboard together and then getting on location and getting the shoot done. Here's the thing about run and gun content though. When you're on location shooting, you might be a little bit clueless on what story you want to tell or what you want to shoot. And that can be a really big problem because that'll really give you a headache in the editing process of your video. It's certainly something I've struggled with through my creative journey and I'm making this video to help you figure out how to get through that. It is completely understandable to not expect you to have time to dish out when in the pre-production stages of your project. So I'm here to show you the secret sauce of creating really solid run and gun content. So the first step of this process is asking ourselves a simple question of what story do we want to tell? Regardless of how complex or simple the story you're wanting to tell is, it'll already put yourself in front of 80% of people who are making run and gun content. I'll show you an example that I did with a reel I made with Alessa. All right, let's watch this reel. The more time you spend thinking, the less time you spend doing. Get out of your house and soak up the moment. Start living your life. Right, so the theme that I really like showing in my videos is inspiring others to get out of their house, get outside, enjoy the weather, and just live in the moment. This is what I wanted to encapsulate in this little reel of mine, so I decided to think about some shots that would push this theme. My first thought was that epic culminating shot with arms out. I know, very trendy, very typical, but in my, in my head, I felt like this was a really good way to kind of culminate the reel, the video, um, end it off and tie it all together in a nice little ribbon. While on location, I thought of this shot as the climax of the video and then decided to fill in the rest of the story with shots following kind of that arc of the story and that ascending to the top. Rather than thinking of a single shot to represent an idea, I thought of a series of shots to represent a story. When you only have time on location to shoot once, using this little trick of thinking of a series of shots as a story rather than one shot as an idea will really optimize your time and probably help you get the best quality product that you can in that one little short period of time. Just to recap what we talked about, shooting the best quality run and gun content happens in really three steps. So the first step is ask yourself what story you're trying to tell. Whether that story is simple or complex, you want to ask yourself that, evaluate what you're trying to push, what message you're trying to push, and then move on. Our second step is giving ourselves time on location to experience your surroundings. Giving yourself time to experience a location without a camera in your hand will kind of open up possibilities in your head that you weren't originally able to formulate. So rather than shooting to look, 
look to shoot. So there's a difference between having your camera up and kind of just rolling versus looking around, finding nice things to shoot that will add to your story and then shooting them once you realize how they connect to your story. Finally, our third step is to make sure we think in sequences. This is kind of the bread and butter of this video. It's thinking rather in sequences versus ideas and stringing together a series of shots rather than one single shot to really push your message in your story. This is gonna make it like 10 times easier to create content on the fly rather than giving yourself a freaking headache while you're on your computer editing and having no idea what story you wanna tell. I hope this video helped you out with run and gun content and I am super stoked to see how you use this little idea. Thanks as always for watching my videos and do great things.